Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of lines of symmetry. This is standard 4.6b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 17 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four figures, L, M, N, and P. And we need to see which figures appear to have both a horizontal line of symmetry and a vertical line of symmetry. So we've got three different terms we need to make sure we understand. Horizontal, vertical, and then obviously the biggest one is going to be this symmetry right here. So let's start with that. So what is symmetry? When you have a line of symmetry, and we'll start with that line of symmetry term first, it is an imaginary line. So that's the first thing we need to see. There's not an actual line of symmetry. It's an imaginary line. That Here's a term that we don't see much in fourth grade, but it's great for us to go ahead and be uh, exposed to bisects. A figure. So what does that mean, bisects? Well, it means it cuts in half and half equally. So when you bisect something, a line of symmetry, for example, when it bisects something, it cuts something in half equally. So if I were to, let's say, get this triangle here, a line of symmetry would be right down like this. This across would not be a line of symmetry because if I folded this part down, it wouldn't match up perfectly. So that line of symmetry, you can fold the shape and you can get both sides to match up. So that's what a line of symmetry is. Now we have horizontal. And the easiest way to show you something that's horizontal is just with a line. Horizontal is side to side. So think of it as a flat flat line. We see this word horizon. So the horizon is where it looks like off in the distance the sky touches the earth and that's flat side to side. And then we've got vertical. That is up and down. Straight up, straight down. So those are our three terms. Now we're ready to see which of these figures appear to have both. And as you can see, your answers can be just one, could be two, or it could even be three. So there's not going to be just one unless it's just figure M. It could be more than one. That makes this kind of tricky. So we're looking for a vertical, let's start with that, a vertical line of symmetry first. Let's just do that on all of these figures. Yes, this definitely has a vertical line of symmetry because you can fold those two in half like this and you're good to go. Figure M, definitely vertical line of symmetry. You can easily fold those in half and you are good to go. N does not have a vertical line of symmetry. If I were to try to fold this in half with that vertical line, you see this part right here? When I were to, if I were to fold that over, it would kind of stick out like this. And remember, vertical line of symmetry has to be exact, so not a vertical line of symmetry. And we've got figure P, definitely, you can fold those in half. Let's check our horizontal. L does not have a horizontal because this part right here definitely sticks out. If you were to fold it over, it would be sticking out like this. So it does not have a line of symmetry on the horizontal axis. Now M does. M's got even more than that. You can do these diagonals and you can get a lot of lines of symmetry. So M is good. N does have a horizontal line of symmetry. You can fold this top to bottom and you'd be fine, but the problem is it needs to have both vertical and horizontal. And then P, yeah, it is kind of strange, but definitely you can take this part right here and fold it over and it would match up perfectly with that bottom part right here. So it looks like we've got two shapes that have both. Figure P has got both and then figure M it's got both, so we are looking at C.